What's going on my dudes? This is Mr. Gardner and this is Math Time with Mr. G. Um, today we're just going to talk about two-way frequency tables. That just means that I have two groups of people that were given two choices and we're trying to see what's the likelihood that they picked a certain choice. So just a quick vocab lesson. So frequency is how many times. So I have a coin, I flip it. How many times did it go heads? How many times did it go tails? That's just frequency. Joint frequency is, I have two categories. What's the likelihood that they're in both? So that means that there are two categories and the data claims both. So my category is burgers and boys. What is the likelihood I pick a bur boy who is in the burger category? Same thing, I had a girl who picked pizza. My category was pizza, my category was girls. And so they're in that box, that's what joint. Marginal means the total of a single category. So that means I add up all the people who like burgers, both boys and girls who like burgers, both that like pizza. I add up how many boys did I have, how many girls I have, and we call it marginal because it's off in the margins. Relative frequency is what is the ratio of all possibilities. So I have to add up both boys and girls here. And then I say, okay, there's a person who is a boy who likes burgers. What's the likelihood I pick them out of everyone? Conditional is the ratio of a single category. So I pick a boy out of people who just like burgers. I pick a burger person out of just the boys. So I'm either excluding pizza or excluding girls in this. So let's look at an example of joint relative frequency. So joint means two categories and relative means of all possibilities. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how many total people do we have? And the way I'm going to do that is just add across 90, 135 and then adding down I get 225 well if I go the other direction I should still get 225 so I should get 110 115 add those across I still get 225 so it doesn't matter which direction you go so joint frequency says I'm looking at boys of the total so what I'm going to do is you're going to take your two category Category box and you're going to divide it by the total so 50 divided by 225 which means that there is a 22 percent chance that if I pick someone randomly of the 225 it's going to be a boy who likes burgers so if I were to divide all of them by 225 I would get the likelihood of picking one of those people. And then a way to check if my answer is good is I add up all of these percents and they should all add up to 100 or pretty close, like if you got 99.999. So when I add these, I get 22 plus 18, I get 40, 27, 33, I get 60, so I get 100%. So, again, I'm going to take a double category, girls who like burgers, and divide it by the total. And that will give me my percent. This percent is the likelihood of picking a girl who likes burgers randomly out of everybody. Relative frequency. That means 
out of a single category, what is the ratio of a single box? So let's say I'm just looking at boys. Well, there are 90 boys who got interviewed. And I said, what is the likelihood of picking a boy who likes burgers randomly? Well, I'm just looking at boys, so I'm going to divide by 90, and I'm going to get 56%, which means that pizza is also divided by 90. Or I could do 100 minus 56 and get 44%. So let's say I wanted to do it differently. I wanted to know out of the burger lovers, the likelihood of picking a girl. So I add up the total, and I divide my box by the total, and then I get 44%. This should add up to 100, which means that this should add up to 100, which means that this should add up to 100. So again, for conditional relative frequency, you're just looking at a single column or a single row. You are not looking at the total of everything. Okay, so if you guys have questions, let me know in the comments section. But other than that, be kind to each other, ask lots of questions, and think deeply.